Okay, so it's time to uh, test this thing, right? What we're doing here, right? This has kind of been, uh, in my experience, it's been a crowdsourcing kind of uh, project, right? Crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing the lawsuit, <laughs> you know, crowdsourcing the corruption in New York City politics uh, via Conti versus DSMY. But now let's change and see if if this actually works, okay? Because my 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 run for Senate is not fiction. It's very real. It would be historical if I would be the first candidate in uh, New York State history to take the Senate seat as a write-in candidate. But let's not let's not confirm that it's write-in at this time because we could still we still have an opportunity to get on the ballot in 2018, maybe as a green candidate or some other candidate reform, right? But that's that's not the point. If at this point, if it's a run, if it's a write-in, it would be it would be very a very historical win for the Senate seat. Also, uh, Kirsten Gillibrand is up for re-election in 2018. We'll run at her, and if we shouldn't make it there, then guess what? 2020 Schumer comes up for re-election, so we'll get him there. Either way, we'll keep we're going to keep we're going to keep on him, right? So, I want to call this one um, opposition research, right? Because Again, I believe that that politicians are supposed to answer to the people, right? It's it's of the people, by the people, and for the people. You remember that? Remember what the founding fathers set it up for, right? So this is um, this campaign is 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 your campaign. I'm the you know the figurehead. Push you know push me out front, right? But so let's make this let's make this an opposition research. Thread, Kirsten Gillibrand is the acting uh, junior senator uh, uh, from New York, right? So let's find out everything we can about it. I, I know, I know, uh, Susie Elgin. We're having a discussion so on one of these threads, and uh, you're finding great information. You know, right now, now Gillibrand took millions and millions of dollars in corporate money, corporate PAC. She's directly linked to the to the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation. This senator was appointed by Hillary Clinton, was pretty much thrown into the forefront after Clinton decided to, you know, run for president again and again and again, right, and fail. She, um, Gillibrand took her seat and then was reelected in a rigged election in 2012. So let's find out more about uh, her connection, her direct connection to the to crooked Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation and how that money flowed into her campaign, right? So, so that's all. Let's find out uh, any any video that we might find on uh, Gillibrand. Let's just try to make a thread so that so that I know and that you know exactly what what this person is and why we're making a run at her. So, you know, I've already read read my uh, you know my my platform as well. Pull it up right now. So my platform is available in the down below in the in the box right and um again it's a it's a campaign of we the people you know we the people if you don't agree with me let me know okay so you know the election is november 6 2018 my platform free universal single-payer health care for all free college tuition at city and state colleges paper ballots hand counted at every election by the public Term limits, both both House and Senate, two year, two term, <laughs> two two terms maximum. Right, you could get elected for two term for two years, and then if you're good, well, you can run for two more years, and that's it. Legalize all drugs, absolutely. Full right to bear arms, no questions asked. Four day work week. Convert U.S. power grid to 100% wind and solar by 2024. Raise the corporate tax rate to 80%, just like FDR did. Make tax evasion and tax avoidance illegal again. Overturn Citizens United. But there's more to it. That's not going to solve the problem. Make taking bribes, bribing politicians illegal again. Right? That's connected. Right? Reduce military spending by 80%. That's... That's $400 billion saved right there, right? Close the FBI and the CIA. These, these, these institutions are 
are no longer working for the people. They're working against the people. They're very corrupt organizations. They work in secret. No, that's not how the United States is supposed to work. So, again, opposition research. It's your time. You want to be in politics? I, I, I didn't sign up for this, right? <laughs> so, right. I'll do it if you. I'm in if you're in because look, I'll continue. I'm still an investigative reporter. I'm still going to journal on daily activities. That's not going to stop, right? But I want to take that right into Washington, right? Get right in Congress and and grab a Senate seat and and continue the discussion for the people, right? That's what this is all about, right? Can it be done? Of course, it can be done, right? All you got to do is not to spell my name right. You got to live in New York and you got to not to spell my name right. And you got to walk in and, and put my name down in the general election. You don't have to be registered for Democrat or Republican, right? Independent. Right? That's how this is. It's a pencil in, right in at this time. If we should grow and the Green Party wants to, to talk, we, could, we might be able to do that. But right now, right in, right in, right in. Let's do opposition research. Let's find everything about this Kirsten Gillibrand we possibly can. Drop it into the links below so not just I see it. Don't email me. It's just senseless. Put it in the e put it in the box down below where uh, everybody could see it. One last thing. Uh, donations and and uh, other things. Let me talk about donations, right? If you live within the United States, right, because this is a, a, a U.S. election, if you live in a foreign, if you're watching this abroad, don't don't send money. Don't do that because it's it, it violates some kind of election fucking law or whatever, right? I promise not to curse so much anymore, so <laughs> I'll curse less. I'm not saying I'm not going to curse at all. I'll curse less. So if you're, if you're living in a foreign... Uh, Place right now, if you're abroad, don't send don't send money. But artwork, right? I'm very interested in artwork. I'm very interested in video compilations and and uh, you know creative messaging in ter in in print or things that can fit into a YouTube uh, video. Okay, so so donations uh, locally, if you're in the U.S., yeah, sure, things that that might be necessary at this point see like i have the, the my ghost of brooklyn uh you know shade maybe a shade you know conti for congress or something like that things that things that um can amplify the message at this point but the the biggest amplification is again it's not you don't have to you send me something what am i going to do with it what i want you to do is i want you to i want to make this a campaign of the people by the people for the people where you're you're doing you you can make a video of yourself what i could ask me i'll tell you what i'm doing i got a i got my old recording microphone and it's stuck in there and i got a cheap webcam that's all it is I, my my camera's a piece of shit it's a <laughs> my my walk around camera is just a freebie it's a cricket right so you don't need a lot to do this that's the point right and i have an ipad so i i, I have some some good equipment, but but uh, make make video and 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 let's yak this thing up before uh, before it's too late. Gillibrand is we got to knock her out, and we're going to help her overturn Citizens United by getting her out of office. All right, so that's all for now. Peace out.